Let me tell you this. I hope there's a market crash. For me, a market crash is the most beneficial thing in the world. It would be doing me the biggest favor of my life. It would be do. I hope that AMC goes to one dollar a share. Uh, seriously, I'm, I'm I'm telling you right off. I hope GameStop goes all the way down to ten dollars a share. I hope Amazon after the split, let's say it's two hundred, it goes to friggin' twenty dollars a share. Because <laughs> let me tell you what. Okay, first of all, I'm down a lot of money on AMC. A lot, a lot of money. We're talking big bucks in the high six figures. Okay, now. I'm not down that much on GameStop. You know, you, you can't, there's no comparison, you know, between 3,500 shares and 55 shares. Um, you know, that I have the majority of my portfolio comprises of AMC, not of GameStop. Okay. So, but I'm down on GameStop. Okay. I'm down on GameStops. So once again, you know, if there's a market crash, it's only going to allow me to have, you know, a lot of time to continue to lower my cost average. So I hope this lasts for like, like honestly, a year or two. I really do. I hope we're in a bear market for like two years. I know you don't want to hear that. I know all of you want to hear, you know, let's mow ass. Let's go. I, I mean, of course. I mean, I want to mow ass too. <laughs> if we mow ass now, I don't have no problem with that. But what I'm trying to say is let's just assume. Okay. I'm not trying to fun. fun. I'm not trying to be fun. I'm just... Can, can we once like actually be realistic, all of us? Can be real? Let's be realistic. This could be something that could take time. That's what I'm saying to you. We are. I know. I believe in the Moaz. I be, I put my damn life savings in AMC. I mean, it, it amazes me how people continue to question my conviction in AMC when I put my life savings in AMC, where I'm down like 150k. <laughs> And people still question me. They're like, you don't believe in AMC. You don't believe. You know, it's people like Lou. It's people like Lou who doesn't have one single share of AMC, who's making $40,000 a month on YouTube off your freaking mongoloids, off all you freaking Lou worshippers, your freaking cult, okay, who's who's telling you that he's got a Porsche and a Tesla. Yeah, he was referring to his Matchbox cars. That's what he's referring to. Lou does have Porsche and, and, and two Teslas. He has Matchbox cars. That's it. That's what he has okay so he's the liar i'm the true blue ape i'm the one who's for real and i am holding with all of you but there is a chance yes that there is a market crash coming and there's a chance it could last a while i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i have a beautiful house I'm about to open up my swimming pool i'm going to be doing laps in my pool every day i'm going to barbecue every day i'm living good <laughs> That's fine. I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. I'm going to go to my jacuzzi. I'm going to have myself a Michelob Ultra Light. I'm going to have a nice porterhouse steak. Bring it on. Bring on the, the market crash. This way it will give me a long period of time where I can keep accumulating AMC. I can keep accumulating GameStop. And I can keep accumulating Amazon. I also accumulate gold and silver too. That's another thing I do. That's all. That's my... Pretty much all my investments, okay? The most money that I have is in gold and silver. If you really want me to be transfer transparent, that's the, the that's, I, but I don't touch that money. See, to me, that's for the, that's for the kids. That's for, for my children, okay? And in addition to the gold and silver I own, my father has a trust set up, okay? That's very large. My children are fine. My children are going to be in much better shape than me. I mean, they're going to be, forget about it. They're going <laughs> to... <laughs> they're going to have this house. They're going to have, uh, you know, my portfolio. Hopefully, AMC and GameStop is really going to be what, what sets them up for life-changing wealth and generational wealth. And I believe in it, but I also welcome a market crash. I welcome it, okay, because it will give me time to lower my cost average even more with AMC, which I've been doing a good job. I just want you all to know that. I'm no longer in the 53 range much lower cost average. Okay, I'm doing a great job with it. I'm doing a great job with GameStop lowering my cost average. And I bought, you know, Amazon pretty much at the 2K range, five shares around 2,200. So I'm doing good with that too. Gold I bought a long time ago. I'm up with gold. I'm doing good with gold and silver. Okay. So, and I, I you know, and I continue to buy, you know, so, you know, it averages out. I'm still doing well. But the bottom line is this, okay. I welcome a market crash. It's just going to give me more time to get a bigger portfolio, lower cost average. It's all good for me. It's all good in the neighborhood for me. For other people, maybe not. 
Okay, for other people who bought AMC at like, you know, very low prices and they bought GameStop at very low prices, they're not looking forward to it because now it's like they're losing the profits they once had. And it, it can be very frustrating and I feel you. But I feel, you know, it's funny. It's kind of like I feel like the tide turned, you know, because everybody was making fun of me being the FOMO father, you know, of AMC and GameStop. And you, what, you don't, what you all don't understand is it's helping me, this market crash. <laughs> <laughs> it's helping me to lower my cost average and accumulate more AMC and GameStop and Amazon. So, you know what? You, you're you not going to be laughing. I'm going to be laughing at the bank. I'm going to be laughing because I'm accumulating a lot more. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer, but, but I welcome a market crash.